In this lesson, we'll talk about the view range aspect of a plan view. View range is only in plan views. It doesn't come into play uh, with sections or elevations, strictly in a plan view. So in a plan view, I'm just in the architectural uh, default sample file um, that comes with Revit. And in here, I'm going to click in here and go down to what is the view range. of. It's a property of the view. I'm going to click on here and it really derives what we're going to see. Because you have to think of a floor plan. It's a big cut plane. It's cutting through the floor and looking down into the floor. How far above that line do you want to see? How far below that line you want to see? That is all part of what is called the view range. And we're going to have a look again at the help menu. We actually have a nice flyout in here, which really helps nowadays. So when you look at a floor plan, we, we see we have our nice little view range um, display here. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So what happens is you say, this is my cut plane. It's associated to level one, and it's at 1,300 millimeters, which is about, you know, four and a half feet above level one. So it's being cut four and a half feet above my level. I can see the upper top of my view range primary is set to be up at 2,300, about eight feet. The bottom is right at my level one. And the view depth, the orange part here, says unlimited. So it's just going to, as far as view depth goes, it's going to see forever. If it's, in fact, possible for something's not blocking or in its way. So when you define these numbers, this is really what makes your floor plan show up the way you want. If you move your cut plane up to be eight feet in the air, you're not going to see a lot of stuff because you're above everything depending on where your bottom and your view depth are. So what happens is you have the primary range, which is this blue space, which is this. Then you have your view depth, which is down inside of here. So what happens is usually right around the middle of your view range, your primary, you have what is called the cut plane. So you put in the cut plane. That cuts across. Notice it's cutting this cabinet. It's not cutting this cabinet. It's not cutting this one. It's not, but it's cutting this glass over here. It's cutting over here. So take note of what it's cutting, what it's not actually slicing through, what's above it, what's below it, and what's beyond it. And each family and category has its own little rules, and there's even some exceptions as to how they will display whether they're being cut, whether they're above, whether they're below, or whether they are in the view depth. Okay, so, um, and this can be a little bit overwhelming. This is one of the trickier parts of learning Revit is how to get that floor plan look the way you want and why are some things showing up and others are not. And that's because you've got to establish and work with what is your um, view range for that plan view. Okay, the top, the cut plane, the bottom, and then the view depth. So there's some really good information in our help menu. Okay, if we go back over to here, I've done a quick search for um, view range and I've clicked on it. Okay, we can see there's that same diagram over here. So again, I'm encouraging you to come in and have a look at this. Okay, read about the view depth, display of elements in the plan view. Okay, elements intersected by the cut plane how they'll view and what some of the exceptions are. Okay, there's some exceptions inside of here. So that's where it gets cut at the cut plane there. Some information, things that are below the cut plane. Okay, what happens to this range of it and whether it's a, a piece of furniture or a cabinet or a generic model or an electrical family, they all have their own little rules. Okay, and this is basically trying to spell it out. Elements below the, the bottom clip plane, but within the view depth. So now the next section is these guys, they're below the primary range, but still within that view depth. How do they display? Okay, Elements above the cut plane and below the top plane. Okay, So this range up here. So there, there's this group of elements, there's this group inside of here, and then there's the lower group. Okay, 
And again, if you just read through here, it's going to have um, some good information on when those elements fall within these different parts of the view range, how they display. And also, there's a few exceptions um, that don't follow the rules, and they point those exceptions out. So um, the view range, only in plan views. Um, once you master that, you'll be a happy person because uh, getting used to it all is uh, takes a little bit of trying, but then you create a view template and you save that view range and use it in other views. And then hopefully you don't have to dive in and do it all over again. So each plan view that you go into will have a different view range opportunity in here. And then you've also got ceiling plans, which also have view ranges, but a ceiling plan looks up instead of looking down. That's the difference. Still has a view range, okay? But you'll notice it's locked them down because there is no bottom because you're looking straight up. Okay, so ceiling plans and floor plans all have view range settings right inside of here. 